Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here again within the Cursed Estate and we are ready to go out on yet another adventure. I'm going to be hopping into the ruins because I want to get this trinket here. Um, on monster kill, refresh, take a bow and friendly skill buff plus four, speed for our ringmaster. And it just seems like a fun mission anyways. I'm putting together a bit of an odd team, but I'm hoping it'll work quite well. We're bringing out Viola here who is an interesting one, of course, the Golem, revived by uh, Artemis. Um, and this is a class that cannot heal itself. Uh, sorry, cannot be healed, can only heal itself. But yeah, 10% uh, max heal on uh, monster kill and also rebuild here as well. We're going to be doing some massive stuns. I've also gone with a full-on damage build, where we've got a little bit less speed from both of these two, but plus 20% damage there and plus 25% damage there with a little bit less to crit. I think this should make it so that we're hitting very, very hard and confirming kills. Leo's going to be running up the back, mainly using manacles with his massively increased stun chance to help out Viola get those kills. Lucas, of course, our tried and true healer of the group. Um, he's going to be using his pentadimensional autonomy by Emmanuel Mascapolos, whatever you want to call this, for the extra healing and bleach cure chance, as well as going with a last light, because, of course, that'll just mean even more healing and a buff to prot. And then following up the back, this is an odd one. I'm bringing Sabrina. Uh, obviously, with her uh, nice stealth skill, we can use the uh, the stalk here to get a four round um, stealth, along with um, the plus twenty two chance to crit while stealthed, and then plus five speed, plus seven crit, and extra damage. Uh, along with the ancestor spectrals, which I'm really not sure about, but that buffs her crit chance up to pretty high amounts, as well as bypassing stealth. Now, bypassing stealth isn't always the most important thing, but I feel like just having that off the bat is going to be very, very useful. Um, and yeah, I, I'm hoping the team can do well. The only thing I'm really worried about is Lucas has very low maximum HP, along with Sabrina, but she has really high dodge, so it's not as bad. So I'm a little worried in that department, but otherwise, and I'm also a little worried about this guy, I think, from the stars as well. But I think we're okay to jump on in and see how this goes. Uh, we're going to buy up. Do you know what? This is a hard mission. I'm going to spend up all of our money, buy everything, and jump on in and see how this goes. Wait a minute. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. I think I just started a story mission, and I didn't realize. I did not read far enough in. I just looked at the reward. This is the, um, I can't remember the name of them, but the something brothers, like the Marcus brothers or something, these um, these are a, a, a new modded boss, and I don't know how to fight them. So this might not end so well, but I'm hoping we've got enough damage. Yeah, this looks like a specialist ru um, ruins here. Oh, complete 100%. Yeah, a bond of blood and gold. We'll, we'll see how this goes, but this is really not what I prepared for. So we've got to hope that stunning works well and stealth works well. Eh. We just got to hope this uh, this kind of goes the way we want it to, really, don't we? Uh, we've got to complete all of our room battles here, so let's go up to this first and see. Because uh, it could just be a curia, but it could also be a room battle. Uh, pfft. We will not be touching that in a million years. No, no way, no how. Um, we do have some okay chance. 90% and failed. Great stuff. Just eat up a little bit there, Sabrina. Unfortunate, but let's push on forward. And yeah, um, no battle here, actually. We just get ourselves um, this opened up. Nice one, Sabrina. Um, and we'll head on back. We've got to check those just in case because there can be uh, room battles in those. Oh, this is this has scared me a little more than I was expecting. I knew there was this story mission that could happen, and I probably should have just read forward a little bit, and I would have known that this was coming. But, of course, me being me, I didn't do that. I just went in head first without reading. I just, I get so involved with planning out my team that I don't pay attention to things like this. And also another thing I didn't pay attention to either, I guarantee one or two of these people, yep, mainly uh, Leo... And probably Sabrina as well are um, unfortunately not fully uh, leveled up on their skills. Yeah, fools me. I I forgot to do those things because I was getting too involved. Oh, we got some of the burn wardens here. Uh, we'll see how it goes. This might not be too bad. Um, it might not be too bad, but it's just a bit of a 
bit of a dumb mistake at the end of the day. Um, these guys are getting stunned very, very easily, which is real nice. Um, we're going to go for the party heal. A good amount of healing there. Lovely. Good amount of healing. That could hurt us. Could stun us as well. No, no stun. I thought that was going to stun. That's just for moving us. Uh, Impale's going to hurt. But we do have AoE healing, so that's not too bad. Um, I think we adapt here. And we set up our stealth. And let's just try and take you out. We did get Iron Body there, which is interesting. I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, immune to disease, high resistance to blight and bleed, cannot be healed by other means than own abilities, not affected by food in any way. Okay, that's kind of what I expected. I didn't think it'd be tied to a skill. Um, what sort of damage are we doing here? Five to eight across the board. With a crit, that could be more. Do you know what? I'm going to go for it because with a crit, that could be good. And it actually really was. I'm very pleased with that damage. It should mean that uh, Leo can actually finish some stuff off here for us. Um, we want to be getting our kills with Viola, hopefully. And Pale's going to hurt again. Do you know what? That was awful. That was awful. My goodness. I mean, we should be able to heal most of it back up apart from on Viola. Um, the good thing is he'll still get the prot. Uh, she'll still get the prot at least. Going to make sure to finish you off. And then try and get the kill on the back line with Viola here. Maybe I should have gone for the one behind, actually. There's some horror coming out on us here. And again, that's a lot of horror. I'm going to say... I think we're a bit fucked. Okay, there's a kill. 10% healing, good. In terms of stress, I think we're a bit screwed. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Um... Let's do that. Because that heals and de-stresses across the board. So let's go for that. Finish you off. Give them no quarter. Viper only. Interesting. I'm definitely going to take that. Uh, we can throw those away. We did bring Loudenum specifically for this sort of uh, situation. Exactly why I brought it. Uh, luckily, it worked out for us. <laughs> oh, no, no. This is some spicy spiciness right here. God damn. Was not expecting all of this malarkey. Hard bit of combat here. Lots of uh, lots of stuff going on. Um we do need to readapt when we uh when we find a new combat. Good thing about stealthing up here is gonna be that we can kinda stay out the way of combat to start with at least. I'm just hoping that Viola doesn't get crit for too much, because I'd rather do damage with her than heal, uh, if possible. Shackles versus shackles. You cannot chain me. I am one with the chains. Do you not see that? I am one with the chains. Definitely going to go for the de-stresses here. Good stuff. Uh, so, you're on 65%. Yeah, let's go for you. We'll try and stun you out. We're pretty much guaranteed to get stuns here. You're going to go down in, unfortunately, not a single hit. But, does mean that I believe our next turn with um, Sabrina should be able to do a good job here. That's going to... No, I thought I was going to spoil things, but actually that went perfectly fine. In fact, all that did was buff us, so that's great. Uh, we're going to go with uh, the Violent Flurry here. Ah, really? Really, you're going to miss that? That's annoying. Um, You do have the stun resist now. Let's start trying to stun you out. Okay, as long as we can get one stun a turn, I'm going to be happy. This is going to be quite a lot of damage coming in, yeah. We'll probably have to heal up with Viola now because we're getting kind of low. Bit of bleed on us there. Unfortunate, but we did crit, which is fantastic. Wasn't expecting that, but that certainly helps out. Um, I'm still going to go for this again. There we go, and that is why. Good damage across the board there. We need Viola to do some stuff next turn, so let's hope we can actually just get in there. Bit of stress coming in. It's okay, we're managing stress pretty well at the moment. At least I feel like we are. You have a bleed on you, I'd rather try and cure that off. And we did indeed cure that off, good. We are going to get some stress healing out of that too, so that's great. Um, stun chance on you is pretty high, let's go for a stun on you. You're very annoying. And... 
We can we can try and go for you, even though it's lower damage, because we don't need the healing right now. I maybe should have gone for the concuss there, actually. That might have been a little more worthwhile, to be honest. Minus 33% damage here is slightly annoying. Um, unfortunately, getting kind of bad damage across the board here, so... Let's see. If we adapt now, we can get minus dodge. So let's have a look. Dodge is pretty high on all of these, so that'd be worthwhile. <laughs> debuff target. Let's just debuff these guys with accuracy debuffs. Sadly, it didn't work on both of them, but did get the statue in the back. But as you can see, after Artemis' creation of Viola, she's released quite a lot of these creations onto the world here, and it's not good. These stone form creations are uh, kind of taking over a little bit. Nice. This stress healing is so useful. This is why Lucas the Rescuer is such a powerful class. We'll get a guaranteed kill here and heal up to full. I really like Viola's way of playing, by the way. It's very cool. Yeah, gonna go for this again. This should heal us all up and get our stress levels down. And as you can see, Sabrina went all the way from like 70 stress down to 32 here. There's a bit of horror. We'll stun you out again because you're getting on our nerves. Really? That? No stun on that one? Okay. I think we should be able to finish you off though. Not this turn. Next turn. Foul warding. Ah, that's a pain because that's gonna buff his pro. Yeah, I thought so. But luckily, we can stun you straight out of that. Yeah, thought so. Didn't do too well for you there, did it? Unfortunately, arrows ain't going to do too much to a stern work, but we shall try it. And that's a nice dodge by everyone there. Well done, guys. Well done. Going to keep going on the stress. Uh, it gives us good healing. And yeah, getting our stress as low as possible is going to be very important. Nice kill. Nice kill. Might get one more bout of horror on us here, but we'll see. Actually, no. We have the speed. We can do this. We can do this. Um, although I say we can do this, and I realize that we can't because <laughs> these moves won't hit anyone. Sad times. I'm just going to stealth you so you can't get hit. Okay, cool. We made it out alive. We're good. We're good. Um, yeah, actually, let's do this with you. Actually, this is negative quirk removal. Who's got really bad negative quirks? Pessimistic, yeah, I want to get rid of that. I don't care what other people have. Pessimistic is so annoying. Yes! Pessimist gone. Perfection. Absolute perfection. That was so good. Minus 30 virtue chance until camp? I think not. <laughs> I will be getting rid of that in a heartbeat. That is some mean, mean stuff right there. Mean, mean stuff. But so far, this group is proving to be very, very... Uh, Hard working and they, they seem to synergize quite well with one another, to be honest. It's a bit of a mismatch group, but it's working. Oh, we do have a burn bearer. We did get the surprise, though, which is very important here. Um, we go for the stun on you straight away. I'm going to use uh, hypnosis to start here because this is going to buff up everyone's crit chance. And I'm actually going to do something a bit weird here. I'm going to use this. And now everyone's got plus 16 crit chance right off the bat. Um, so we can... We didn't actually get the kill there, so... Go for a kill. Burn bearer is obviously still alive. Having bodies around while a burn bearer is alive is not good. Um, he, he can revive and also do these buffs. I think we're fine, though. Okay, there's the horror. We don't care too much about the horror. What the hell? Okay. Okay. I'm going to admit. Wasn't expecting to get hit for 30 damage on a 31 health person. Oh my god. Honestly, it's, it's not even worth using the single target heal. Because we're getting a big heal out of this anyways. And we get the prop. That was unbelievably bad though if this guy hits us again um lucas is going to be in a real tough spot we got to get kills here the burn bearer needs to go but we did get rid of a body there because we crit that's fantastic stuff that hurts especially 
the bleed? Okay, that must be a guaranteed bleed because we should not be getting blood as, as Viola here. Okay, this is bad. Viola can't bleed. We're going to have to rebuild again. This has gone pretty badly, I'll say for sure. That's a great crit heal on ourselves there. We needed that. We needed that in a major way. Bone bearer, you're, you're not going to take too much damage, but we need to get you down as quickly as possible. We're going to stun you if we can. Oh, damn. No, I should not have done that. His stun chance is absurd. I didn't realize. Don't go for him again. Oh, 15 damage is still like half of his health. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. Okay, good damage. This is hurting. There's a kill and it's a crit, so there's no body. Fantastic stuff. Well, that's what we need to be making sure of, really, at the end of the day. Viola's definitely hurting. I, uh, I, I would like to see her heal up a little bit. Another crit there with a graveyard slash. He did the slash. He did the graveyard slash. Stun you out. Okay, that at least buys us some time here. Bone Bearer should be gone next turn. I might be able to stall a little bit to heal up Viola one more turn. And I'm hoping I can. I'm really hoping I can, actually. Everyone else is back to full. Good. Right, Viola, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to stall out here. Let's go for another one of them. While you're stunned, you can't do anything to us, so there we go. Perfection. And a crit as well. Fantastic! Thank you, Viola. That is exactly, exactly what we needed. Get that extra crit on everyone. Good stuff. It's going to hurt, but we can heal it back. Don't worry. We just go for the stun again. And the kill. Beautiful stuff. That worked out fantastically for us in the end there. The Burn Bearer definitely, definitely gave me the stank eye. I was a bit scared. But we came out of it smelling like roses. Surprisingly so. Surprisingly so. That... That there, that that hit for 30. Oh boy, that scared me. <laughs> On someone that has no prop and only 31 HP. You do not want to see a 30 damage hit on your very first turn, especially when it's your healer. Oh god. Gets the heart pumping. Gets the blood flowing. Oh my goodness. It really does. But we come out of it. A new changed man. Oh, okay. We've got uh, ourselves a uh, distorted observer and uh, ourselves a ghoul as well. Okay, we'll start off with this as always. Gives us that crit. I'm actually going to go for the double crit again here because it helps out so much. Um, stun chance on you is not exactly super high, but we could still get it. We didn't, unfortunately. Yeah, so we'll go for the, the across the board plus 16 crit. And that is why. That right there is why. Look at that damage. Having the uh, the slime on him would be really good, actually. If, as, as long as it works on him. But the jar of slime for the healing on hit. Oh, my goodness. 35. 35 stress. And hit for almost all of our HP. My goodness. There's a crit on you. Oh, my God. That was painful. Unfortunately, we got possessed. Did we block it? We blocked it. Nice. Okay. Uh, hit you. We need to get some stress relief going on uh, on you. One HP in a dream. Let's get that going. Heal you up to full. And we'll maybe spend the next few fights uh, helping you out. But there you go. Oh my goodness, hit for 35 stress in a single turn. God damn. What was I just saying about the blood pumping? The heart beating? Oh my god. This game knows how to shit you up, it really does. 
You form a bond with someone and it's like, let me shit on that bond real quick. Suit of armor here. That'll give us bonus prot and dodge. Very nice. The dodge especially. Especially on Viola here. Viola needs to be getting hit as little as possible so we can use that maximum damage output. Viola has insane, insane damage potential. Um, definitely going to use the Confession Booth here to get rid of some of that stress. There's that 30. Not even that one hit. 30 stress off a Confession Booth. And we didn't even remove that one hit's worth. My god. Okay, so this is where, um, as you say, bypassing stealth is important. But it's not, because if you remember, we can't hit the front line. God damn it. Um... Unfortunately, it's unlikely we'll get a stun here. Oh, we did. And that's why we have that bonus stun chance. Let's uh, let's adapt some stealth up here, I think. I think that'll be uh, valuable for us. Gaining that bonus to crit and everything. Easy. Destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. Just... You can do the graveyard slash. Just don't crit me, please. You can impose your scary scaries on me, but... Okay. Probably shouldn't have done it on the person that's already stressed out of their noggin, but oh well. Get some blight on there. I haven't really been using his blight all that much. Um, I think we go for the full cure because we need our own healing there. Even though we do need stress relief. Oh, really? The slash? Okay, thanks for the dodge. We needed that. I love how meaty Viola's fucking hits are. My god. You beast. Bit of stress coming out there. Marked as well, but that doesn't matter when it's only you. Both everyone's crit, why not? A little bit of stress relief as well. That's going to hurt. No, actually it didn't hurt as much as I thought. Resisted the bleed as well. Okay, now we go for the stress relief. We're pretty resistant to the stun from that because we've got high stun resist from uh, some of our abilities. We'll try and stun you, but it's probably not going to work. Oh, we actually got ice. Once it's woken up, its stun chance gets massively lowered. Nice to know. Um, let's go, because you're stunned, let's go for a rebuild and try and get another stress relief going. Why the hell not? Ah, oh, you're blighted. Of course. Of course. Right, push onwards. We've still got the thing from the stars lurking about that we haven't seen yet. We've, had, we've not got the perfect build for the thing from the stars as well, so I'm a bit scared about that, honestly. I really am. But we'll see. One more room to go. Probably the brothers. I don't know if it's a guaranteed chance for them to show up this time around, or if that was just a warning that they could Finding show up. Stuff is only the first test. Um, now it must be carried home. Let me get rid of this loud and then probably won't need it. I say that, but I don't actually know. Probably should have kept light, it, really. The promise of safety. Right, let's go in. No camping required. And here they are. Yep. Okay, was not was not prepared for this, I'll I'll admit. This may go terribly. Okay, bypassing stealth here, obviously a good shout. Buff everyone up. Unfortunately we got repositioned here. Buster bomb. That's gonna debuff us with minus dodge. Adapt. Right, we, we want to just go back to, don't we? We want to just get back into position here. It's... Oh, fuck. I did that wrong. It's okay. It's okay. This isn't great because we're having to reposition everyone, but it's what we got to do. A decisive wow. Pulling. That was a good hit. <laughs> that was a good hit. Okay. We just need to realign everyone. That hurts. I'm a bit scared. I gotta admit, I'm a little bit scared. Right, everyone's back in position. This this could go bad. I think we gotta adapt with you and stealth up. Just get ready. Stop you from getting hit as well. Um, we're gonna have to do this. It's only four healing, but we gotta. The stun chance is not really good enough right now. I don't know what you're doing, but I don't like the look of it. Um, right. What sort of damage can we get here? 14 there. Nice. This is, this is going to be tough. 
This is going to be really tough. Thank you for not hitting. I think we still got to go for the party heal because we need to set up the prot on everyone, even though we're low on, um, on Leo here. Please don't. Okay, 10's bad, but not too bad. Fumes coming out there. Ugh, oh, goodness. My goodness. Right. Let's go for a stun. 70, 60. Let's try and stun you. Good stuff. That's gonna hurt. Leo, just chill out, alright? We'll be with you in a moment, okay? Ah, oh, that's not good. Leo, just chill out, okay? A death denied. Good. Probably should have got rid of that while we're at it. Can you stop healing? Getting crit regen and all that crap. I main stunner, unfortunately. Oh, please stop. Leo, why? I'm so scared. We've got to kill at least one of them here before we start healing up. Nice one. Where's all these crits, by the way? We have absurd crit chance. And it's just not coming to fruition here. Please die. Dude! Leave my boy alone. Thank God no bleed. My goodness, this is, this could still go so badly though. Oh no. I oh, dodged, thank god. He dodged. Okay, good, good, good. Leo is on the brink of disaster right now. We gotta get the stun on you again. Thank goodness. Charging up once more. You're dead, finally. Okay, that's 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 at least the guy that's mainly been targeting Leo dead. I think we um I think we wanna adapt and go back into stealth again just so we don't get shot at. Takes the focus off of us. Thank god Lucas has dodged all these attacks so far. I'll say that for sure. Thank the Lord. Okay. Double heal on Leo there's fantastic. He's still a bit weak, but He's doing all right. It's risky, but I'm going to try and stun you. Yes. He's very, very strong, so... I, I really don't know what we want to do about this big guy. Because he's putting out some pain. Oh, no. That is insanely bad. <laughs> insanely bad. Oh, my goodness. Let me just adapt and see what this does on its second. Uh, yeah, let's debuff these guys' accuracies. I did flip them around as well a little bit. Double stun on these two is unbelievably bad. Because I really need to heal with Viola. Viola's getting low. You can't be blighted, so that's okay. Better to target you. The positioning of our crew really isn't the best here. We need to go for a heal next turn as well. That's a good crit. Yeah, Viola's got a heal next turn. Don't hit. Yes, nice one. Good, good, good. Is a Keeping that prot as high as we can is very important right now, so I'm trying to do that. That might blight us. No, we got lucky. We got lucky. Um, is struck. A blazing star I'm going to go for you because it's pretty much a guarantee on you. Charging up once more. Right, you have to heal. And thank God it was a crit too. That saves us a turn. I know that we need the damage out there. We get a kill on you. Down to two. That's This could hurt. Indeed it did. We're going to go for the, the straight up heal on Leo next turn if we can. Please stun. Ah, no. We got the resist. Please, no stun. Oh, the double stun. <laughs> the double stun. Right, let's, um... Let's clear stun. Clear stun on everyone. Let's Leo actually attempt to stun here. Yes, nice one. 
That that worked out really well for us. We're gonna go for the straight up heal on you here. Sedated. There's a chance now. There's there's actually a chance. I haven't put any damage on this big guy yet, just because I think that the other dudes are actually doing a lot worse to us. Okay. Dude, they just love attacking Leo, don't they? No stun on him this time. Party heal for everyone. Keep that prot going. Scary. You're finished. Awesome. Just the big guy left, and we can just keep on buffing, uh, keep on buffing our crit and curing that stun. Unlikely to stun this guy, but we fucking managed it. Holy hell, Leo. Well done. Well done, my dude. Well done. Buff crit again on everyone. Confluence of skill and purpose. We need to get those crits as much as possible here. 28 damage without a crit's lovely. Keep buffing it. Plus 26% crit. Keep going for those stuns. I don't care if he's got extra stun resist. I don't give a damn. The blood pumps. Pretty much up to full on everyone apart from Viola. Here comes the stun. Oh, nice dodge, people. Nice dodge. We do have the protection as well that I've not really been doing too much with, but we do have it if, if needed. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Everyone's prot staying up there. The crit chance is staying up there. They're the sort of crits we're looking for. Viola was 100% the right pick, and honestly, so was Leo. Leo was a great pick for this for these stuns. They've been crucial. Nice. Should have him on Viola's next turn. Maybe this is what a Viola was created exactly to do. And there you go. Wow, that was tricky. Uh, we got ourselves um, two trinkets and four of these things. Holy sugar. Uh, boom. 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 There you go. Let me just continue adventuring real quick. I want to just check what these two do. So... Uh, Marcus Family Heirlooms, a man at arms only, plus 30% to chance in position 2, extra melee skill damage, minus accuracy, on melee hit, stun. That's insane. If you can counteract that melee accuracy, that's great. And then Arbalist only, blind fire, plus 45 damage and crit, minus damage and plus to speed. Great stuff there, all around. Holy hell. Really, really good uh, episode here. We do have one diary entry to finish it off. I absolutely love that mission. That was so fun. So, so fun. Um, we're going to get rid of creeping. We're going to get rid of both of those, actually, before we get into the diary. Um, I see something long Idle high is going to want resolve. Nice. Right. Let's uh, let's quickly go and of hope. unequip our trinkets. Do that. And then you two can... No, sorry. You two can go in here. Boom. And boom. Cool, okay. We're good. Uh, like I said, going to this last diary entry here. This is from Aya to Sky again for Lumen. It's a dark room. It, it's... Sorry, sorry. I'll start again. <laughs> it's a dark room. The floor is flooded in blood. Barely anything is visible except a fire. A red blazing fire. And in the middle of it is Lumen. Chanting incomprehensible words um, to, to a wrapped up body. Then the body starts floating and spinning. Lumen's holy symbols disappear from the, um, his chest. Pointy horns grow out of the sides of his head. And at that moment, the body violently explodes, staining the walls with red. God damn it. It didn't work. That body wasn't strong enough to withstand him. Guess I'll have to try again. Hmm? Oh, wait. There was a funeral just a few days ago, and the coffin looked kind of big. Let's get to work. As he said... Uh, said this, the fires on his head returned to a more normal level and he cha uh, changed his look back to what he was before. I don't like it, but I don't have any other options yet. And that's by Lumen. That's a great one. That Love that diary entry. Let's see what we've got in terms of uh, in terms of our Nomad Wagon trinkets. The Anointed, uh, extra damage, extra crit. Extra crit if HP, minus additional HP healed, minus stress received from hero, sk hero skills. Do you know what? I'll buy that. That seems pretty decent. We've got a lot of money right now. Um, now let's see. Any new arrivals? 
sadly not, no. Um, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It's definitely a fun one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.